Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, through this video, we are starting the TCS NQT 2024 preparation playlist. In this playlist, we will be discussing different different coding questions as well as we will be covering the aptitude also in the later part. We all know that TCS NQT hiring has been announced on campus and the test date is on 15th Jan. So in this video, we will be discussing one coding question till uh, like this only every day we'll be discussing one one coding question till next nine to ten days and then we'll be preparing for our aptitudes okay so this is how the entire playlist will go on so make sure that you are subscribing this channel if you are preparing for this tcs NQT because each and every questions that we'll be discussing in this playlist can be very much beneficial for you because these coding questions might not repeat but the pattern does repeat that what type of questions are asked in the exam so I hope you have got your got the point. So make sure that you hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel because it will be very much beneficial for you if you are preparing for the TCS NQT 2024. So guys, now let's start this video. Okay, so guys, first of all, we will be discussing the question in this video. Then we will be discussing the approach and then we will be discussing how to write the code for this particular question. So let's start the question. So consider the following series that is 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 15 and so on. This particular series is a mixture of three series. All the prime position values are power of 2. All the perfect square positions are power of 3. And remaining positions are sum of the previous two values. Okay. For example, if we tell you n is equal to 15, then the 15th term in the series is 104. Okay, so this is the 15th term in the series and this is 104. So only value 104 should be printed in the output. You can assume that n will not exceed, exceed, exceed 40. It means that this series will continue till the total uh, total number of these uh, values will be 40. So currently there are total 16 values and it can go till 40. So this is a series that we need to generate. Okay, we have to find the nth term of a series in which these are the rules we need to follow. That is if the current position is the uh, what we say is the prime position that is prime index like 2 3 5 7 uh, 11 like this then that position will have the value as power of 2 how power of 2 we will see it uh, in the approach one next is if that particular position is the perfect square then it should be power of 3 and if the current position is not any of the above positions then the position the values at that position will be sum of previous two values so I know you might be a little bit confused. So let's just move towards the explanation part wherein how we will see how we are deriving this particular series and how we will write the code. So let's just move towards that series thing. So as I've told you in the in the question, it is given that all the prime in the prime position positions will have the power of two as value and all the perfect square will have power of three values. OK, so let's just first see the prime positions. So uh, this is one uh, starting with one position. What are the prime positions? So 2 is a prime position, 3 is a prime position, 5 is a prime position, 7, uh, 11, 13, 17 and 19. So these are all the prime positions. Now we have told you that the, all the prime positions, what they will uh, contain, they will contain power of 2. So if you will look closely, this position is containing 2 to the power 0. This is containing 2 to the power 1 because 2 to the power 0 is 1, 2 to the power 1 is 2. This position is containing 2 to the power 2. This position is containing 2 to the power 3. And if you will see this, this is 2 to the power 4. And similarly, going by this logic, it is 2 to the power 5. And uh, last thing is 2 to the power 6. So you can see that uh, when we are getting the prime uh, uh, prime positions, in that, in that there is 2 to the power values and all the values are incrementing by 1. That is starting from 0, it is the power is going till 6 in this particular example. So this is how we will fill. So we will check whether the current position is prime or not. And then we will maintain the values that till now how many values of 2 has been done. And we will add plus 1 and we will do 2 to the power 6. Because here it was previous one 2 was 2 to the power 5. So next one will be 2 to the power 6. So it is incrementing in, uh, in the powers of 2. So this is for the prime positions. Now coming to the what was the second uh, thing second thing was that all the perfect squares will have uh, let me just remove it all the perfect squares will have power of 3 okay so let's just now see what are the perfect squares so 1 is a perfect square so 1 is a perfect square 4 is a perfect square uh, 
then nine is a perfect square. Sixteen is a perfect square. But they will contain they will contain power of three. So if you will see at this position, so it is again three to the power zero. This fourth one is again three to the power one. Again incrementing by one. This nine is again three to the power two. Okay, and then this sixteen. Uh, this is a perfect square. So it is it is containing the value of three to the power. Uh, what will say three to the power uh, three. Okay. So this is how again you can see that powers are uh, on these perfect square positions. Power of three are incrementing by one at every perfect square. Similarly, uh, similar was the case with two and starting with power zero. So this should also be not be difficult. Okay, this should not also be difficult that because we have seen now our power of two in the prime index and power of three in the uh, power of three in the square index. Now the third condition was I hope these two conditions are clear to you. Now the third condition was all the remaining indexes. Okay, what are the remaining indexes? So first, just first, let's just mark both uh, prime index and square index. So one is a prime index. Uh, sorry, square two prime three prime uh, four. Yes, four is a uh, square. Five is prime. Six was nothing. Seven was a prime. Uh, eight was nothing. Nine was a perfect square. Ten. Uh, okay, ten was not nothing. So eleven was a prime. So eleven was prime. Uh, what was else? Thirteen was prime. Sixteen was perfect square, seventeen and nineteen. So these were the uh, index that we have already positions we, that we have already discussed. What about the remaining positions? That is six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. So in this case also there is a one condition given that for all the remaining positions the sum the values are sum of previous two values. So if you will see here, that is this six one. The six is nothing but the sum of previous two values. So three and four, three and four. So therefore this seven came. Then, if we will talk about this uh, eight, so fifteen is nothing but seven plus eight again, and then we are talking about ten, so twenty-four came by fifteen plus nine, twenty-four. Then, if we will talk about this six, uh, sorry, if we will talk about this eighteen, so twenty-seven plus sixty-four is ninety-one. So three conditions we have fulfilled all. We are we will be filling one by one. Okay, we will be filling one by one. Okay, so I hope now all the three conditions and the question is clear to you. Now let's just discuss that how we will be approaching this question. How Okay, so now let's just suppose that we are given an n value. Okay, so that we we need to find let's suppose sixth value. Okay, sixth value we need to find. So what we'll do? We will make an array of size six. What is the maximum poly possible array size? Is it can be forty. That is n can be forty. That is forty term till forty term we can assume that okay the uh, code can handle. So if sixth value sixth term in this series is asked, so first of all what we need to do? We need to make an array of size six. Okay, it will be empty. Now what we'll do? We will start filling the array. Okay, we will start filling the array one position by one position. We will always start with the first position and move towards the nth position. In this case, our position is sixth. We will take two variables with us. That is power of two and power of three. Both initialize with one. Why they are initialized with one? I will let you know. So one means power of two. When will power of two will be one? That is when it is two. When it is two to the power zero, so it will be one. And power of three. When again, again it is three to the power zero, then again it will be one. Now we will start filling this array one by one, one position by one position. So coming to the first position, so first position we will first check whether one is prime or not. Is one prime? So answer is no. It is not prime. Then we will check whether it is a perfect square or not. Is one a perfect square? Yes, one is a perfect square. So once one is a perfect square, square, which which value will be there in this position? It will be power of three. But since it is the first one and power of three, so what we'll do? We'll do nothing. Just we'll Uh, since it is a perfect square, we need power of three, so we'll just put the value of power of three variable here. So currently it is one. Okay. Once we have filled it, power uh, this at perfect square, we know power of three. Once we have filled this value, what we'll do? We'll do one into three. So power one into three, it becomes three. Okay. Then we'll remove it. Now it will become three. Okay. Next we are moving towards the next position. That is two. Two. Uh, but two is is two prime number. So yes, answer is yes. Two is a prime number. So once two is a prime number, it has been established. So we need to fill the power of two here. What does this power of two variable contain currently? It contains one only. So it will be one here. Okay. Now we will remove it. And once we have filled the power of two, what we'll do? We will do power of two is equal to power of two into two. That is now it will become two. We will now multiply it by two. Next we are going to three. Now three is three prime number. Yes, three is a prime number. So we'll simply put power of two here, so it will be two here. Once we have filled power of two here, we will again do two into two, it will become four. Okay, 
so we will simply write four here okay simply write four here we are moving towards the next position so four is four a prime number no is four a perfect square four is a perfect square yes so we'll simply put power of three here okay once you have put power of three here we will again do power of three is equal to power of three into three that is nine okay that is nine so we will remove it and we will just place nine here okay next five so is five a prime number yes five is a prime number so we are putting four here that is power of two here once we have put four here so we will do four into two is equal to eight we will remove it let's just our value will be eight so i will tell you why we started with one until why we are like just doing power of two here now going towards the six is six a prime number no six is not a prime number is six a perfect square no six is not a perfect square it means that it is going into the third condition that is for all the other position what we'll do we will add the previous two values what are the previous two values it is three plus four that is seven so here it is seven okay so this is how our entire entire array will be filling we need it till six so we made an error of six but maximum value of uh, array can be 40 as given in the question so now wh why we were just filling power of two because at every step when we encountered a when we encountered a prime position so we place the power of two here value of power of two here and then we just incremented that power of two by one because we just saw that what was happening earlier to two to the power zero then two to the power one that two to the power two so on it was just multiplying by two so therefore we kept on this power of two we kept on multiplying by two once you have used the current value similar was the case with power of three so this is our matrix will be filling so for checking the logic whether the one is prime or not whether the one is perfect square or not then that logic we will have to write while iterating the array so let's just now move towards the code because code will also be an interesting part okay let's just move towards the code now and see how we will be checking the prime number how we will be checking the square number and if not condition then we what we'll do we will simply uh, we will simply what we'll do we'll simply add previous two terms okay so i hope now the question and approach is clear to you now let's just move towards our coding editor to see how to write the code for this okay so guys if you have any trouble in understanding any of these things till now you can always write in the comment section or join our telegram groups and ask there i will always help you okay so for saving some time i have already already written the code so let's just read the code line by line and understand it okay so again it is our main method we have taken n as input okay n means that uh, which uh, element we need to return which element of the series we need to print and as discussed we, we will form the array of that size of n size we have uh, defined two variables power of two power of three with one one each okay now what we are done we have iterated over the array for that i is equal to zero and i less than n that is for that entire series for that uh, series till n we are iterating the array for finding each and every element till the n okay but one thing to remember here is that c our series was positioned at one but our arrays are indexed at zero okay so it means that the first element will have index as zero but it will have position as one okay and entire playing and this entire game here is of the positions that is, is whether the position is a prime number or a perfect square okay so one thing to note here is is that our arrays are indexed at zero so it means if it, our current index is i then the position will be i plus one and we need to play the game that is to find prime or perfect square we need positions not the index so therefore first of all we will be checking whether the current position is prime or not so therefore we have made a function that is is prime and in that we have passed the position that is i plus one is the current position i will discuss that what i have written in this is prime code is prime function and is perfect square function just that i'm just giving you an over, overview as of now so if the current position is prime then what we have done we have um, uh assigned uh, current value as power of 2 and then we have done power of 2 is equal to power of 2 into 2 as we discussed in the approach section similarly if it is not prime and it is going into else if that if the current element is a perfect square then what we are doing we are doing simply i plus uh, again position we are passing and we are uh, assigning power of 3 here into the current value and we are doing power of 3 into power of 3 okay else that is the third condition that is if the current element neither is a perfect square nor is a prime current position then what we are doing we are simply doing the current value will be the sum of previous two values that is error of i is equal to error of i minus 1 plus error of i minus 2 so i hope this thing is clear to as we have discussed in the approach sections now coming to the methods that what are this is prime method and the is perfect square method so let's just first see is prime method so see 
we have got inside this uh, function we have got the position and we will have to check that whether that position is is prime is prime position or not and we discussed that what is the maximum possible value of n that is 40 it means it means what i have done as of now what i have done as of now we have made a hash map in hash map we have placed all the prime numbers we have placed all the prime numbers till 40 2 3 5 7 11 13 till till 39 so we have placed all the prime numbers till 40 because we know that n will never cross 40 so we have placed all the prime numbers till 40 and if we are getting any value between in which which is a prime value what we'll do we'll simply return mp of n okay so if this value will be uh let's suppose 5 so if we will here simply will return 5 here okay mp of 5 it will return mp of 5 is present inside this array so it will return true that is yes this particular 5 n is prime number but let us suppose now 6 comes so n will be 6 here and here also 6 will be there is 6 present here so no 6 is not present here so what this mp of 6 will return it will return false that is 6 is not a prime number okay so to generalize it we have done mp of n this is one way of doing it that is we know that our where is our end goal end goal is at 40 so we have listed all the prime numbers below 40 and we have placed it in the hash map but if we do not know that how long how many uh, what is our end like uh, what is our end constraint we do not know the last value of n in that case we will have to write a proper logic of finding the prime number that is we will be getting this n and we'll have to write a proper logic to find whether this n is a prime or not the thing that i've done is that smart work because we know that n is 40 number cannot be greater than 40 but because if you in, in in exam you don't have time then you will have to do the smart work like this otherwise you will have to if you do not know the end goal you will have to write the entire logic for finding the prime number and remove this okay so i hope this this approach is clear to you similarly a similar approach i have like done with the perfect square also that is the position we have got and all the perfect squares till 40 how many are this 1 4 9 16 25 36 so if any values come irrespective of this one like 20 comes so mp of 20 will be what will be above 20 it is not mentioned here so it will be false by default so it, this is how it is working but again i'm telling you the, if the end constraint is given to you then only you can try this but if the end constraint you do not know what can be maximum value of n then you will have to write the proper logic of is prime number or is a perfect square so i hope i have made my point now let's just run this program and one more thing we are doing c out of error, error of n minus one because as i've told you index base array is index based and our positions are one based okay so i hope this thing is clear to you now let's just find the 15 term only so 15 term it should come as 104 let's just see what it comes okay what should be our 15th term it should be 104 okay so yeah 104 is the coming as output let's just say one more term 16 also we get uh 16 term should be 27 okay it will give 27 and if you have not subscribed to this channel now please subscribe it and please like the video because more such videos will be posted every day till 15 jan till your nqt exam is not cleared okay so you can see 27 is coming as an output this was it for this video i hope you have liked the video do share this video among your friends and do subscribe this channel for regular updates thank you for watching this video